How's it going everybody? Martin Bellevue Auto Spa and thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, we're going to get into this. So this is Suds Lab XA Zero Acid Wheel Cleaner. Uh, whenever a company says zero acid it always tells me that it is alkaline wheel cleaner. Um, this is available at Walmart. Costs about $15 for 32 ounces which is a pretty good deal for a retail product. Usually you're paying that much for 16 ounces so half the amount. So they got you there on the value. Obviously it's not as good as, um, you know, professional products like, uh, this, this is very superior to, very, not superior, very similar to, uh, Superior Fury, or excuse me, Superior Dark Rage, I think it's called, or Dark Fury, Superior Dark Fury, um, except that comes in a gallon and you dilute it four to one. Give me one second because the, uh, Garbage truck's about to go by, and I know my son's gonna want to see it, and it's very loud, so I'm gonna pause this while it goes by. All right, sounds like it's on another street, actually. It's just close by. Anyways, um, so Suds Lab is, uh, I'd say this company gives you professional quality products um, available at a retail level, and they're selling you a good amount. So, I mean, if you're starting up a detailing business, you know, you're not ordering online, this would be a good place to start. Um, it's not available at every Walmart, but check your local Walmarts. I think the one closest to my house is not near there, but there's like, I don't know, 10 Walmarts in the city, so I just went to the next one and found it there. Um, they call themselves a science-based, or, you know, based in science or whatever, which isn't every detail company. It's, it's chemistry, making chemicals. Um, but it says dilute up to 4 to 1. doesn't say you have to dilute, though, so I'm going to use this full strength. Uh, it doesn't say to agitate. It just says uh, spray directly on cold rims and tires, let it sit for 30 to 60 seconds, then rinse with clean water. So we're going to power wash it. Uh, it says don't apply to hot rims. Um, raw aluminum or anodized aluminum this will kind of mess up your mirror finish or anodized finish um but yeah this stuff seems pretty good um i noticed it doesn't really seem to foam up so there's that um but yeah we're gonna really we're gonna test it out here and see if this thing will freaking focus there you go come on there you go all right yeah but we're gonna test it out and see yeah sodium hydroxide you know what that is that's degreaser. That is in every single degreaser, as well as uh, a lot of uh, liquid soap. So that's, yep. It's probably the main ingredient here, but this doesn't seem to foam up. But we're going to see how it works as a touchless wheel cleaner since it doesn't say to agitate. Now, if you have really hammered wheels, you're probably going to need to agitate. But the wheels I've got, they're dirty, but they're not really hammered. So we're going to see how it does. So let's go over to a wheel and test that out. All right, so no need to really shake it up. Um, the stuff is ready to use. You can dilute it if you want to stretch it out further, which is nice. Um, you can see this wheel here may not look dirty, but that should tell you how dirty it is. All right. So, does it say to rinse the wheels? It doesn't say to rinse the wheels. I'm not going to pre-rinse, so we're going to just spray it on there and let it do its thing. The tires aren't too bad, but the wheels are pretty dirty. So and it looks like I'm spraying I don't know Dookie water on here. It's pretty gross looking. Like I said, just like um. Superior Dark Fury, formerly known as Rage. But you'll have to get that and test it out. I've heard it's really good, but I haven't used it. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't need to apply this much, but I'm just doing it for the video's sake. You know what? We get the wheel wells as well. Definitely don't need to use this much. <laughs> All right, and let that sit for about a minute. You don't want to let it dry, of course. And just power wash it off, rinse it off with a hose. I'm gonna be power washing it off uh, just to show. I use power washers at night when I clean the cars. So, see how that works. It's probably been long enough since I started spraying, so let's go ahead and rinse it off.
that looks like it did a pretty good job. Let me dry the wheel off and uh, we'll see how it looks. Rest in peace, headphone users. All right. How that work as a touchless wheel cleaner? There is still a slight film on there. Um, probably, I don't know if you can really, that's not coming up on camera, but there is still a slight film that I'm noticing. But it's not, nothing crazy. Oh uh, yeah, some of them there. So, as a touchless wheel cleaner, eh, you could probably pass by with it, but I would definitely say to agitate the wheels. Um, but, I mean, it did a pretty good job. Did a lot better than most touchless wheel cleaners would do. So, pretty good stuff. So, I'd say this stuff uh, definitely get a thumb, gets a thumbs up from me. Um, really got no complaints with it. It's not as strong as an acid wheel cleaner. It's not as strong as a wheel cleaner with iron remover. But for an alkaline wheel cleaner, it does a pretty good job. Anyways, let's go back in for the final thoughts. Okay, so Suds Lab Zero Acid Wheel Cleaner. It gets passed from me. Um, I would definitely feel comfortable using this stuff professionally and recommending it to everyone, anyone. I'd, I'm going to say this is the best alkaline wheel cleaner at Walmart. Now, Walmart also has Meguiar's Ultimate Wheel and Tire Cleaner. That stuff has an, an, uh, it's a pH neutral with iron remover. That stuff works pretty good, but it, it costs about the same as this big bottle for less. But... You know, if you need something, uh, especially you can, you can dilute this down, so you can, you know, it says dilution up to one to four. So you're going to want to agitate your wheels anyways, you know, use a brush and whatever. So this one bottle will make four bottles of cleaner, with four to one dilution. That means four parts water, one part cleaner. So five parts total. So you can make four additional bottles with this. The math may be off slightly. I'm not, I'm not good with math, so I apologize, but pretty good stuff. Um, you can order by the gallon online as well. I'll have uh, I'll have an Amazon link below for you guys, uh, plus links to other things. But yeah, not not bad stuff. I mean, it's you know, overall pretty good. Um, I definitely give this a uh, my recommendation. So if you're looking for a good wheel cleaner, and you all you got to go do is uh, you're only at Walmart and you're looking for a good value. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be my pick. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash like. Click like, tap like, however you want to make sure that like button's activated. I appreciate it. And leave a comment below with your thoughts. I love interacting with each and every one of you. And I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.